Hi. Hi. Oh. That is rain. Rain is good for agriculture. We all know that. Now, we need to look at the flip side of that story. Does our agriculture seem to help rain? As it turns out, maybe not. I came here 45 years ago to work on that disease to solve a simple problem, and it got complicated. That's bacterial blight caused by Pseudomonas syringi. We call her Sue for short. <laughs> now, we did standard plant pathology, as all plant pathologists do. We treated seed to stop the disease caused by a bacterium that we call Sue. Okay? But to our surprise, something went wrong. The bacteria, we treated the seed, but that wasn't enough. The bacteria were up in the air, and I flew up there with a holding petri dishes out the window, and there they were in the clouds, <laughs> causing ice crystals. So they were raining down. Now this is dandruff, better known as bacteria on a plant leaf. And uh, when the wind blows, the dandruff flies, some of it gets up into the clouds, and that's how they get up there. Oh, I love these bacteria. <laughs> so, that's the bacterium, that's Sue, and we found that these bacteria are a lot more complicated. Some of them don't cause disease, but they do cause ice triggering or ice nucleation. That's their protein that they make, and it kind of glumps on to water vapor and turns it into ice. And kind of like eggs in an egg carton, they uh, get ordered and that becomes ice and down they come. So these bacteria, they do their special magic high up in the clouds where they cause ice, okay? And they bounce around and with the ice, they come down, and that's how they get around. Some of us would go to Mexico, but that's how they get around. <laughs> Sue is the most efficient ice nucleator of all that stuff that they dump out of an airplane that they call cloud seeding. And it's natural, and that's the whole idea behind this uh, talk, is that it's natural. Now, to get down home, We'll talk about our ski resorts already use this bacterial protein in their snowmaking equipment in order to lengthen their snow season. But we have a lot more important implications of this. We were able to collect these bacteria at the top of the ski lifts of each of these ski resorts, and they seem to be causing 70% of the ice nuclei that we found in the snow. So they're very important, and where would we be without them? I don't even want to think about it. So in 1982, we came up with this long word. We didn't have Chrissy, the wordsmith, to help us, but we came up with that long word which says that the bacteria go up, and they come down, they grow on plants, and they're actually pretty important. Now our hunch is that these bacteria go up and down many times as they go across that precipitation highway from west to east, and that's kind of like I-90 for bacteria. <laughs> Some of these bacteria have been doing their thing for 400 million years and agriculture is only 11,000 years old. So we have a lot to learn in agriculture about how we could be interrupt, interrupting this cycle of Sioux. So there's a precipitation highway, 
And around the world, we're seeing a lot of severe drought. Can agriculture harvest more of the water out of that precipitation highway? I think we need Sioux. So using our Petri dish, we were able to look at all the elite varieties of wheat, and we found one, Golly 2, and she produces about a thousand times as many bacteria as some of the other varieties. So our plan is simple. Stimulate rainfall, coat the right seed with the right nucleating sue, and let her do her up and down magic, harvesting those rivers in the sky. Bioprecipitation is based on a hunch that we can reduce drought. We should be able to plant the right seed coated with the right bacteria. Now we're about to have a poem after the rabbit runs across <laughs> the stage here. Oh, my dog would be chasing that. So here's a haiku, Sue on the sidelines, ready to punch the passing clouds and bring a downpour. And we have data-driven technology that might work, but no promises. So these are the people, Sue Orser, I mean, Cindy Orser, Cindy Morris, Boris Vanatser, Brent Christner, and Sue. And with them, we're done with the talk. Thank you.